If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over a great way to make tons of coins in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. Now, the thing about this way to make coins, it's absolutely risk-free. You don't have to really give up any coins to make the coins, which is great because you know a lot of methods are like sniping, or you need a million coins to start, or you need to go ahead and do something. This method is risk-free. It just requires doing something very simple that you either have or you don't. But if you do, you make a ton of easy coins. And if you haven't done this yet, you can even go ahead and make more coins as you go ahead and go get this stuff done. So I'll show you guys in just a second. But of course, guys, before we get into the video and go over the method and show you guys exactly what you have to be doing, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. And for the Poodle Squad shout out for the day, if you do want to be happy, we'll have a chance to shout it out. All you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course turn on that notification bell. And guys, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we do have someone new. We have Juan Perez. Shout out to you, Juan, for being a part of the Noti Gang. Poodle Squad, I should say. But it's about it for that, you guys. If you want a chance to be shouted out, all you gotta do, like I just said before, like, Noti Bell, and subscribe, guys. And of course, if you need coins to pick up anything else in the game at all, head on over to my reserve down below in the description. Coins are currently discounted a ton, so is training and players. So if you need anything extra besides this method, go ahead and hop on over there. If you use code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off. But that's it for that. Let's head on over, guys. So it's going to relate to a set now, guys. I know this video has been done already. I know for a fact. Now, I did this video last year, too. The only thing was that this year, I know that other people were doing it, so I gave it some time. I didn't want to just overload everyone with the same method. But now as time has passed. If you guys haven't done it yet, I'm going to refresh it for you guys. I don't know exactly who's done it. I just know for a fact it's been done. So player exchange. Coming on down to what was added with Series 2 is the 87 to 88 overall player exchange. Trade in three elite players, 85 or 86 overall for a random elite player. Now, I don't recommend you going to buy players through the set because it's just not that profitable. I'll show you exactly how to make it profitable because it's 30k, so it'll cost you approximately 90k to get three players and go ahead and actually do this. So, by that standards, you're losing, which is why you do not want to follow the set for what it is and do something else. So, moving on out of this, there's a few ways to go about this. Starting off, you want to come over to these solos now i never played these solos because i bought I, I spent money obviously so they were never worthwhile now for this set it is extremely worthwhile and i'll show you guys exactly what they are so it's the nfl epics now I, I never really played them because like i said i didn't need any of these players i noticed like in a day like based on my coin stack and what my team looked like these players are never going to start for me so i never went ahead and actually did it but if you play these solos you get a free 85 larry fitzgerald a free 85 adrian peterson a free 85 ronnie lott and a free 85 jack youngblood so you're able to take these guys and toss them into the set, which again, of course, is a great, great method right there in itself, because they are all 85 overalls. Now, when you have 85 overalls like that for free, you're not going to start them, but essentially you can pretty much right now, go ahead and play these solos. You can keep one of them. Let's say you keep Ronnie Lott, put the other three into the set, and there you go. You now have three free players to throw into that set, which gives you a free 87 uh, to 88 player. And we'll check the value of those cards as well, and then give you guys some other ways to get this done as well, because... That's not the only way you can get that stuff done. There's other ways there, but let's go see what you can, let's go see what you could possibly get. Because remember, it all comes down to the value and what it's worth. But it is the solos you're gonna get coins from. You're gonna get the cards. You're gonna get some stuff from that, as well as going ahead and taking advantage of the free player you're gonna get. Now, could you, you could start this player, but I recommend you probably go ahead and sell it. Now, 87 overall. So let's see where that starts. So uh, I don't know if Joe Thomas counts in there. Probably does. So starting at like 50k is looking like the lowest you're gonna get. But more than likely, you're going to get something in like the 60k range. Yeah, 50 to 70k is probably what you're going to get out of this. Now, there's the 88 overall, which again, it goes for a little bit more. And then so 70k. So you can probably get anywhere between 50 and 100k uh, as your value is what I'd imagine. Now, that's not bad at all for free. And you get to keep one of the Ronnie Lots. I mean, you don't have to do all four. Remember, you can, only, you can just do three if you really want to. But you do get quite good stuff out of that. And that's not the only way you can go ahead and get this done. Remember, there are plenty of solos that do give you free stuff like that. So going on back to the NFL Epic Solos, if we go check this out, the milestones, you get gold plus nat players. So remember, you do get an elite and nat. So if you do all of these, right, and you get your three players, you can put those in. There's a decent chance that out of these gold nats, you probably pull one or two elites. And that could be a nat 85. So this is for people who have a bunch of nat cards they don't want as well, this method. So I remember last year, I pulled a nat DeAndre Hopkins out of this gold 70 plus nat, which at the time was one of the best cards in the game. But like a month or two in, I didn't want to use him anymore. So I was like, I want to get rid of him. I had to wait for an exchange set to toss him in. So for you guys, let's say you have like an 85 Nat Jason Kelsey or an 85 Nat like Jack Youngblood or 85 Nat Base Elites, Harris Smith, whatever he is, 86. You have those cards and like, I'm not using them, but I don't want to quick sell them because half their trading value is worth it. You go ahead 
and you put them into that set. It's like a binder clearing method that turns nats into value. They turn nothing into gold pretty much. So pretty much here, let's say, or even this too, guys. Remember, if you don't have enough, you can always fill the set as well. So let's say you have two, you did the Jack Young Blood, you did all of them, you have four, and you have another 285 nats sitting in your binder. So that leaves you with six. Oh no, sorry. That leaves you with five. So now you're missing the sixth one. So what you could go ahead and do, you could go to the set and toss the three and get your free player. You make your 60 to 70k. Then you do it again, but you're missing one short. So what you could do is go ahead and you could do one of two things. Which I'll show you guys in a second, which is another great way to make coins here. Uh, you could go ahead and buy the last card, which is about 29. If you snipe it out like 26, 27k, which is going to still give you a profit of about 27 to 30k on top of that. But if you want to make maximum coins, you could go ahead and do this, which again, you can just keep trading up. Go to the exchange set. You can go to the one below it, which is going to be get you an 85 to 86 player. Now you need another three here. So let's just say again, right? You have a player in your binder that's sitting there. Like this isn't a good example because I don't have one. But let's say you have a nat like 83 overall or a nat 84 overall. You can toss that 83 overall, 84 overall, those ones into that set. Go ahead and make yourself. Or let's say you only have two, right? If you only have two, you can still buy one of these cards for like 14k. So let's say you have two nats, you put those in, you buy a 14k overall one, and then you take the 85 to 86 you got, and if he's a good value sub, if not, you toss into here, and you have three now. Or like I said, you could just go ahead and go here. You only have two left out of the out of the six that you need. You go ahead, you just buy one. You filter it out eventually. If you filter it out, you're probably found with like 25, 26, 27k. You take that and then you go ahead and you put that in. So let's say you do that twice out of everything you have. That leaves you with let's say on average you get about 65k after reduction back. 65,000 times two is going to be 130,000 coins. Now it's nothing special, but it takes you like a f if you have it already, it takes you a few minutes. If you have to play the solos. It takes you a few. It, you know, it takes a few hours to get the solos done, but it's a free 130k. I think it's worth it. Or for any no money spend squads or budget squads, those are starters for your team. You're gonna 87 to 88s, which could easily be. Now it says elite player, so that's why I'm saying I don't think it counts as legends or anything. It literally, if it's 87 to 88 elites, you're pulling guys like Bobby Wagner, Aaron Donald, Patrick Mahomes, DeAndre Hopkins, who uh, not Julio, who is 86. But you're pulling those guys, so you're pretty much guaranteeing yourself a top level elite in the game if that is that case. So I think honestly, it's a great idea to get this done. It's a great. It's either gonna be a great player to put in your squad, a great player to play to power up, or a great player to sell. I don't see it as a way of losing here. Now, again, could you take advantage of some other exchange sets? Of course. Let's say again, here, here's another example right here, 83 to 84. Those Nat Golds, there's a good chance they give you low 80s. So let's say they give you three, you have three 80 to 82 Nat players you just can't use. Right here, you go like that, you clip that in. Let's see, I probably have some. Uh, Actually, I don't. I do not have any. I actually have auctionable players. But the point is, the thing is, I've probably gotten rid of them in sets before just like this. I've done stuff like this already. So for me, I'm not gonna be the best example once again, but again, if you have any of that stuff, I know there's, there's plenty of you guys out there. Someone has a bunch of what I'm talking about right now. Go ahead, toss them in, get your guaranteed coins. And you can do this with all of these, obviously. Whenever you have free or natural, toss them in. You could always take your good morning Madden packs, or you toss your silvers in right here and see if you can go ahead and pull some power ups. Look right there. I toss my silvers in, I get from that good morning Madden pack, which is a great way to get power ups, honestly. That's what I usually do with my good morning Madden packs. Open that up. You, you, get a, you get a rookie card there. But again, there's a decent chance to pull silvers. Not a, and this isn't the only one. You could always open up this one as well, which is another decent chance to get um, power up cards. So let's go again. Trade these in. Now, again, it all depends on how many you have and how many stuff you have. But if, I, that's why I recommend watching Good Morning Madden every day just for even a few minutes. Get yourself your free silvers. You can always exchange those. That's how you get your Tyree Kill, your Jamal Adams, and all these different power-ups. That a lot of, that, you know, go for either a lot of coins you probably want yourself. Denzel Ward. But, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. That covers just about everything I want to do there. I'll do one more of these for you guys. But, yeah, just take advantage of these exchange sets. When you get all that free stuff, make sure to reconvert it. Don't let it sit in your binder. Like, obviously, I have a lot of silvers. I've been waiting. I was going to do a video where I do a massive one of these at some point. Uh, at some, well, at some point, of course. So that's going to take a little bit of time to open up all these and then put them all in. But eventually, I'll go through all of that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, shout out to Juan Perez for being a part of the Poodle Squad, man. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. Commenting down below and doing what you do. And again, for anyone else, turn on that noti bell. Like the video. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. And of course, be subscribed if you want to be shouted out. That's about it for that, guys. Hopefully, you guys did check out today's morning content video. We got some LTDs. If you didn't see that, go down, go down below. Click on the channel. Scroll down. Go check it out. Go check that video out. Got some really great stuff this morning. Some updates. As well as guys, if you need coins for anything beyond this, if this wasn't enough coins for you, go ahead and go to my reserve down below. We have great coins on discount right now. Training, players, literally everything you can buy on there. The, white, the, the site sells everything. And if you use code POOLERS, you get an additional 15% off. Take advantage. We're going into October. Most of it's coming soon. Maybe even my heroes. Pick up some coins and get ready for that. But guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy your day. This should be the last video of the day. Probably only doing two. We don't have too much today to go over. But that's what it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.